everybody and a warm welcome to my channel, Tarot by Isabella. I hope you're all doing fine and I'm very, very happy to see you here. Today's video will be a viewers questions video and I had um, many viewers sending me in a lot of interesting questions to uh, this uh, viewers question videos. Sorry. <coughs> And um, I'm sorry if I cannot uh, take up all of your questions. I have to be a little bit selective. Some of the questions, unfortunately, we cannot talk about on YouTube. So I have to yeah, take away some of those questions. But those who are a little bit in the gray zone or... Um, it's okay to talk about here. Uh, I have made a little selection of questions that we're going to look into today. But before we begin, I need to thank you all so much, so much for all of your support here for this channel, for your nice and lovely words and mails. I am very grateful for them and they are very heartwarming and gives a lot of energy to continue doing more videos. Since it takes, believe me, a lot of energy uh, to do one video, many hours behind of research and preparation and editing, and one have to also prepare a lot before doing a video uh, with uh, meditations and uh, some protection rituals and so on. But here we are again. And today's questions that I'm going to look into, I have a little paper here, a bit of notes. Today's questions are, just a moment. There are a lot of things happen that is happening at the moment in the USA and the political area. And one question that um, came was, uh, will Robert Kennedy Jr become successful in leading the Democrats. Will he win? Hmm? And he's a little bit special, Robert Kennedy Jr. He's anti this and, um, and he speaks his mind and many of the DS don't like him at all. So let's see if he will be successful in becoming and the leading figure for the Democrats. The next question will be about Rainer Fjölmich, the lawyer that started um, this um, investigation of the new illness. And um, it talked a lot about uh, Nuremberg 2.0, that it will come new tribunals about this for crimes against humanity. Lately, it's quite quiet uh, from him. We don't hear so much since the conflict started in the country UNR. And what is going on? Will there be something with this uh, Nuremberg 2.0 with Rainer Fulmich? And he also had some internal problems with other co-workers and so on. Mm. And the third question I'm going to look into today is about Orban, the leader from Hungary. And uh, if they're gone, if he'll continue to be lead the leader of Hungary. And the fourth question, what will happen to the Dutch farmers? Yes, they they are still pressing the farmers a lot. This um, globalist agenda, and they are fighting and they are suffering. And we're going to look into what is going on, what will happen to them. And the last question for today is from a lady that sent me a mail, and she was very worried that something terrible will happen to the island of Crete. She had heard something that is going to happen, some terrible stuff. And I'm going to look into if there is any danger 
for the island of Crete. And let's start then. Uh, and to do the viewer's question, I'm going to use my tarot cards, oracle cards, gypsy cards and some dice. Before we begin, I need to shuffle the cards a little bit. And for the first question to today was, will Robert Kennedy Jr. become successful in leading the Democrats? Will he win? So let's see, Robert Kennedy Jr. What will happen in his political career? Will he be successful? Then not letting him speak openly anyway on any news media. And outlets. So um, they are they don't really want him to speak. The truth stinks. Let's see. Robert Kennedy Jr. Will you be successful? Let's take some cards on Robert Kennedy Jr. Oracle cards. A gypsy card. And some dice. This one was blank, so I need another one. And we're gonna throw the blank one. Okay. And it looks like this. Robert Kennedy Jr. Will he be successful? Mm -hmm. And there will, the, his opponents will try to stop the flow of money to his campaign. They don't want him to uh, be successful. They like trying to put a nod on everything he does. Uh, but he will find uh, donors or um, people that will support his career financially. So it will be um, developed. Um, could be during uh, his campaign or some something that he will have a short period of illness, uh, but he will recover. But they're really doing everything to stop him from uh, being su successful. And he's shooting. We were, here we have an arrow. So he's shooting arrows of truth uh, to a lot of areas. And that is not so welcome. Uh, it looks like he will have a future in political career. We have my future here, and they are building on it. Um, even though a lot of people disagree, but also a lot of people agree with him. And I see the card of um, Oracle card here, the two bridges. So he will try in his political career to build bridges between parties, between uh, between uh, people also. And, and uh, it looks like he will succeed. I'm not sure if he will win the elections, but he will make a good work, very good work on building bridges and uh, where there is conflict, like soothing 
the conflict out. Mm -hmm. So let's take some more cards on Robert Kennedy Jr. I'm just going to take three cards now. Will he um, become the leader of the Democrat, Democrat Party? Mm -hmm. If he will lead the Democrats. Will Robert Kennedy Jr. be able to lead the Democrats? Will Robert Kennedy Jr. be able to lead the Democrats? Mm -hmm. um, he has been, he's an He's a person that has been in the political game for a long time, his family. Uh, we have the Aramite here. So they have. he has a lot of knowledge, hidden knowledge about politics also. And he has been in the game for a long time. His family has been in the game for a long time. It looks like he has a big chance just because he's different and also because of his background his family background and because a lot of things that have happened in the USA and during the last three years that has not been so good and where um, USA are heading at the moment so yeah he has a big big chance to become a leader for the Democrats I need one more card here Mm -hmm. And we have the card of justice. So it seems like Robert Kennedy Jr. do not have a lot of hidden dirty stuff in his closet. Uh, he's cleaner than most of the other candidates. And people will want to demand, people will demand um, different things from the political leader in the near future and he doesn't have any real dirty uh, hidden stuff mm -hmm. so he has a big big chance to win there is a big possibility for that yes and I'm gonna take last three cards on Robert Kennedy what will happen to him in the future maybe he will win the elections 2024 let's see Robert Kennedy Jr. what will happen to you I don't see him winning elections in 2024, but uh, he has. Here we have the devil and stress on the devil, but the nasty ones, the evil ones, will be very stressed uh, because of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he will come with a lot of good news, and like he will expose a lot of things, and. He will also help people to calm down or make um, think differently, to make other choice, cho choices uh, for themselves. Mm -hmm. And we have Queen of Cups in the center and Three of Cups. He will be more caring, you can see, because there is very caring energy. And he honestly will show that he cares for the people, really, really cares for the well-being of the people. But according to the cards, I don't see him winning any big uh, election like for president. 
I don't see that. Mm. But uh, the evil ones will do everything to stop him and to go further. But he will come quite long, but I don't see him winning big elections. He will build bridges and there will be different kind of political system in the US in the future. It will not be two parties. It will be totally different. Uh, but still I see him in the political area, but not in a way that we think today. Mm -hmm. Well, that was my question about Robert Kennedy, the answer for Robert Kennedy Jr. Let's continue to next question. And this is about Reiner Fulnig. I don't know if I pronounce his name right. And the Nuremberg 2.0. What will happen to this Reiner, the lawyer Reiner? And there was a lot of talk about him, but since the um, conflict in the East, everything around Rhina has become quite quiet. And he had some big internal problems with uh, co-workers and a lot of ac accusations here and there about money. So where does we stand today? Where does he stand today? Is there anything happening with this Raina Fulmi and his um, uh, Nuremberg 2.0 uh, work for crimes against humanity? Let's see. Rhino Fulmis, where are we heading? Just a wait. Oh my god. Cards are flying. Gypsy card and some dice. And it looks like this. Yes, Reiner. Yes, Reiner. Yeah, there's a female that left his group. There have been some double faces. Mm. They really thought they could catch some golden fish. And he has been through some troubling times here, right? The work that they put down has not... Uh, been so um, successful as they thought. At the moment, it could feel that he's feel a little bit tied to a chair. We have a man that is tied to a chair. He has a lot of passion for what he's doing. He put a lot of money and effort and time into this. Um, at the moment, it is like standing, nothing big is happening at the moment. Um, they are working, still working on it. And there are some lies that have to come through first. Um, some, I don't know if it's him or other people that has not been totally honest. Let's see here. Mm. There is some extra information that are uh, that they are waiting for. 
and during summertime this information will come out and the wheel of fortune and the sun will shine on this information we we'll also have the military man uh, and in some way military or higher uh, people in um, important uh, position are um, like waiting for some orders to take action here and this i said problem internal problem that he, he had with a female it has taken a lot of his strength and um, a lot of power out of him this problem that was before mm. yeah but at the moment it's nothing big is happening they are like waiting for a signal to continue mm. I'm gonna take some more cards and this time I will ask uh, will there be a Nuremberg 2.0 for crimes against humanity during to the new treatment that was pushed on people all around, all around uh, our world? Let's see. Will there be a Nuremberg 2.0 kind of tribunals? Will there be a Nuremberg 2.0 kind of tribunals? Yeah, definitely. It will. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It will. We have a Queen of Coins, Wheel of Fortune, King of Coins. Uh, I I see uh, Reiner as the king of coins. He's like holding things together with the information. He's very sure on what he's achieved or what his information he has. Mm. Here we have king of sword and justice, military tribunals. The question I was about military tribunals or tribunals. Uh, Nuremberg. So yes, uh, there will be. Uh, Rhino will have some part of it. Uh, he will not do them, but it, he will probably provide with a lot of evidence to these tribunals. And it will be very hard for people to hear and see and experience them. Mm. And a lot of people uh, are feeling very ill because of this treatment and that will be talked about on these tribunals. So yes, it looks like there will be something and he will be a little bit of not organizer, but he will have a finger in this um, tribunal thing. I'm gonna take one last card if we can get an approximate time frame when this this tribunal starts. Page of Wands. There's no number. Nine. Mm. Uh, nine weeks, nine months, the ninth month. Uh, according to the cards, could even be in, um, it will be announced before it starts. So it could be starting in September, but announced a little bit before. So it could even be in this year, but it could also be nine months from, from now. Well. well, that was my answer for Rainer Filmisch uh, and um, the um, Nuremberg 2.0. Let's continue to next question. And the next question was, will Orban, the leader of Hungary, continue to be the leader of Hungary? So, let's see for Mr. Orban. 
Will he continue to be the leader of Hungary? Mr. Orban. And some dice. And it looks like this. According to the cards, it looks like he will not be the leader for Unger Hungary uh, for forever. Uh, in the future, he will be replaced by a woman. Not a very young woman. Middle-aged woman. And uh, he will release his position to her. Well, Queen of Cups, Six of Cups, the High Priestess. And um, this lady that will take his seat, she is a um, good friend with the people. And he will be like, wanted to give it to her. Uh, and he will also be happy for her taking that place as uh, the leader of of Hungary. Um, could be next election or next again, but he will not be leader for Hungary for a long, long time. Um, and it goes to the card of sister. So yeah, it looks like she's a quite nice lady and um, she will do a good work as a new leader for Hungary. Let's see when she will uh, become uh, a new leader. Number two. So it co could be within two years you can see a new leader in Hungary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the transition for the new leader will not be dramatic. It will be like welcomed, even by Orban himself. Could also be due to health issues or something like that. That he will, that she will take over. Yeah. So. The answer for the question, if Orban will continue to be the leader of Hungary, for a couple, for some t more time, yes, but uh, an, a female, a woman, will take the place as leader of Hungary within two years, according to the cards anyway. Ah, that was my answer for that question. Let's continue to the next one. And the next one was, what will happen to the Dutch farmers? Mm -hmm. They are re the Dutch farmers in the Netherlands. They are really fighting for their survivors. And the globalist agenda are pressing really, really hard on the Dutch farmers. So, what will happen to them? Will they give up, give in? be forced to sell their farms um, for different kind of agendas. 
Mm. Or will there happen something good for the Dutch farmers soon? Let's see here. What will happen for the Dutch farmers? The Dutch farmers, what will happen? And some dice. And it looks like this. The Dutch farmers, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, the dice of villain, uh, a paintbrush, and some colors, and the clock that is ticking. So, yeah, the clock is ticking for the uh, Dutch farmers. The villains are pushing and pushing and manipulating. Uh, but it seems like they will gather together. We have six of cups. Uh, they are the the Dutch farmer. It seems like their network is quite strong with other farmers, so they cannot cut them off communicating with each other. So they are really organizing themselves, and they're going to move. We have. The wagon here, so they're gonna be on the roads. Um, a major, major protest is coming, and um, this time they cannot quiet them down. They will try because the globalist agenda are trying everywhere. They will try. Uh, could be that will even be some violence involved in this one. Uh, and people will get tired um, from the manipulation. Mm. This time a lot of women will be involved also. Not only men, and, well, it was women protesting also, but more women will be involved with children in this protest because it's also about their future and their children's future and everyone's children's future. If farmers are gone, we're going to all stop to death and we cannot eat bugs uh, as they want us to. So we have to have real food, not bugs and other, how do you say, uh, uh, laboratory laboratory grown uh, meat and other poisonous disgusting stuff that they're pushing on us we need real food but it looks like they will win in the end we have ace of swords two of wands by getting together not only dutch farmer but farmers all around europe they will get together there will be some conflict, but it looks like they will hold the sword and they will win this. And the globalist, the, this villain leadership will have to um, stop pushing the farmers away. Mm -hmm. Some last words for the Dutch farmers. Is there some last words? 
what we can expect. Some last words for the Dutch farmers. Mm. Here we have again Ace of Swords. Uh, we have the Sun, Ten of Coins, uh, Four of Coins, the Empress. So it looks like uh, the Dutch farmers uh, will succeed in this battle and they will be recompensed, recompen uh, recompensation, will be a big recompensation for their suffering. Mm -hmm. And that they want to invest in, in the land, in the farms, in maybe new machines and so on. And we have the Empress that signifies rebirth, growth, abundance, uh, beauty, everything is grow, look, uh, growing and flourishing. So the farmers will flourish again mm -hmm. and they're going to win this battle and it will be uh, quite good at the end. But there is a lot of struggle, a lot of fight waiting ahead. Now, that was my answer for the Dutch farmers. Let's continue to the last question for today's viewers' question. And that was the question, if something terrible is about to happen to the island of Crete. Yeah, that was uh, the lady who was so worried about that something would happen to her lovely island where she lives, Crete. And let's see if there is any uh, terrible stuff coming up for this beautiful island of Crete. Is there any danger? for the island of Crete. I need one more card on this one. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this. Any danger for Crete? Uh, a big disaster for Crete, I don't see. Uh, like tsunami or big devastating earthquake or something like that. No, I don't see that. Um, there could be some accident involved w where young people are unfortunately victim. Could be a bus. Uh, it could be a boat, 
something in where a lot of young people are um, going somewhere. Mm. And that will be uh, some kind of terrible disaster for uh, for the island, you know, since they're young people and and there could be a lot of pain and sorrow because of that. And people gonna feel very ill uh, when this happened. But I don't see it um, like thousands of people uh, dying or big disaster in that way. Something is going to happen. I cannot exactly pinpoint what it is. But it's a lot of young people involved and it's during travel. And the guilty ones are... Um, it's also like this... You can call it accident. It could be avoided if uh, some people made their work. I don't have the devil here, so I don't see it like a sabotage or... Um, and, and terrorist attack or something like that. It's more negligence. Negligence. Mm. Mm. Let's hope this will not happen, but there is a possibility it could happen, and people will turn to the churches, to to faith, to you know, pray for those that unfortunately. Uh, lost their lives in, in the accident. Otherwise, this is horrible as it is. Otherwise, the other cards look quite okay. They are not like big disasters or something like that coming up. Could be a lot of changes in tourism. Um, or more tourists, so the hotels could be overbooked during a period of time. A lot of stress. Uh, so no big disaster, I don't see it here. Let's take some more cards on this last question. For the island of Crete. For the island of Crete. No, still I don't see a big disaster, um, uh, pain in heart, some loss, yeah, but I don't see a big disaster in that way, that sense. Will be difficult for many, mm. especially when they have to return to school or something like that. Yeah. Um, no, no big natural disaster. Uh, I do see an airplane that are, tr I don't know, yeah, they're trying to land. I think they're trying to land. And something wrong with the, the wheels, they're, or they're not coming out as they should, or, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so some could be something with an airplane. I'm not sure if that is the accident or uh, or it's yeah it could be that with with the travel. Um, let's see if, if I, and then I need to take some cards if it's the airplane. Is this the airplane that will malfunction? 
No, it's not the airplane. I don't think so. Mm. It's more something else. Uh, malfunction with the wheels, but I don't think it will lead to uh, any big accident. Could be uh, really scary for many, but I s still think they're gonna land quite well. Mm -hmm. Well, that was my answer for Crete. I don't see any big disaster. Uh, could be some big accident that in itself is a big disaster with, uh, if there are many young victims and it affects the whole island uh, with sorrow and pain and so on. But uh, not, not like a tsunami or bombs or things like that. And that was the answer for my last question of today. And to all of you wonderful, wonderful viewers, I want to thank you so much for watching. Take care out there, stay together, help each other, be strong and together we're gonna uh, go through this crisis and for a better future for all of us. And if you have liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press the like button, share button and subscription button. And hopefully we're gonna see each other soon again. Bye bye.